Right, good morning everybody. So as you can see... That sun's bright. That <laughs> sun is very bright. And as you can see, there's another ship behind us now. So we are today getting on board the MSC Euribia. Euribia? We're not sure how you pronounce it. It's not as easy as Virtuoso. <laughs> Rebia, but, is it? Yeah, one of them too anyway. Them. But yeah, we're going on a one week Northern Europe cruise. We did do the exact same itinerary on the Virtuosa last year. Mm -hmm. But normally um, it would matter to us what the ship is and also the itinerary because, you know, we care a lot about the places that we're going yes. as well. But for this one, we didn't mind doing the same one as we did last year, just because for this cruise, really, we're going to spend a lot more time on the ship. Yeah. Just because we've had such a great deal for it. Yeah, as, um, as you so always do with MSC. <laughs> we weren't bothered so much where it was going, whereas normally we would be. Yeah. So. Like Stay said, we have been all these places. Uh, mm -hmm. We have done vlogs for all them places. If you're interested, I'll link them in the description if you want to see Hamburg, Bruges, Rotterdam, and La Havre. But um, we have had a inside cabin yep. and we haven't had a drinks package. And I know depending on whether you add those things on, the price can obviously differ. But just for us, it costs £350 each for a week. So like you say, we get going on a yeah. lovely ship. Brand new ship. <laughs> yeah, a brand new ship. Yeah, it's MSC's latest yeah. new ship, isn't it? Yeah, so we get to go on there. But yeah, we've just uh, parked up. We yeah. park at the West Quay uh, shopping centre. So we've just, the multi-storey. Yeah. So we've just walked across. I did, um, just as we were pulling into Southampton, I said to Kev, oh no, I forgot my swimming costume. Because obviously we won't, we won't go in the jacuzzi on some of the uh, port days yeah. when hopefully it's a bit quieter. So we just had to run in a shop, get one. And I was a bit worried because I thought this time of year, am I going to be left with the kind of things that you could floss your teeth with yeah. as well but i've managed to get a costume and it seems fine hopefully yeah. <laughs> i can't believe it but yeah parked up we, we dropped the bags off beforehand as well we did have a little bit of a shock yes, when we, we pulled into southampton because we yeah. thought we were going from the horizon terminal yeah and we were going down the road that we normally go down when we go from the horizon terminal you know we were getting ready to take a picture of the ship and we were like where is it yes it, but we did <laughs> it's in the city cruise terminal i don't know how long it's going to be here but the guy said um the horizon's having some repair work done so we don't know what's happening there MSC never emailed us though to say nope. that they changed the terminal luckily it was just a little bit further up it's so the next one panic over yeah so we're very close to our time we want to try and get on and get some food because we've had no breakfast so let's just literally walk over there Yeah, so there's a good shot of the ship there. So, like I say, we don't know how it sounds. We're just going to say Eurebia, end of now. But our check-in time is 12 o'clock. And it's about 11.45 now at the moment. So uh, we should get straight on, hopefully, and get some food. We're going to try and go the MDR, but we're not 100% sure if it's open for lunch. So we'll let you know. Right, so we're all checked in now. It literally took minutes. We didn't have to queue at all. They've given us our cruise cards. Now, when you book an MSC cruise, there isn't freedom dining on here. We did request a early seating, which I think you had 5.30 or quarter past eight to pick from. Now, it does tell you on the card that we've been given a quarter past eight dining seating. Now, we are going to go to, we have done this before on an MSC cruise. Yes. If we want an earlier time, we'll, we're going to go to the main dining room and ask them if they can move us to the earlier seating. They have done that before, but obviously it depends on how many passengers are on your cruise. So we'll, we'll go and try and we'll let you know how we get on with that. But, uh, but yeah, we have got his cruise cards but now. But we've got new shiny silver ones because oh, we, we went silver, up a member Are we silver members now? Yeah, we were blue last time. Yeah, because this is our, I don't think we said at the beginning, but this is our fourth MSC cruise now. Yes. We've also got a welcome board letter that they just give us and the main dining room is open for lunch 12 to 1 30 so i think we're going to go there yes, instead of the buffet that'll probably be busy but shall we go get on now yes i'm hungry yeah. here we go we're getting on and here we are oh so this is the gallery at Eurebia. we need to remember it that it's not the virtuosa but how cool is this big screen apparently this is the biggest screen on the seas according to Stacy so it's a little bit longer than the virtuoso one I wonder if it's this little bit here just this little bit so once you're on board if you've got anything booked or you want to book anything come and see somebody in the in the atrium area there's normally loads of people here they're either trying to sell you specialty restaurants or drink packages so if you've prepaid for one of the specialty restaurant packages or anything like that come to these and try and get your uh, your time slot booked for whichever night you want it just because if it's a busy cruise 
they might book up so you might not get the slot you want so always come to somebody and try and book up your specialty stuff as quick as possible i was just looking on the uh, map to see where the main dining room is it's on we're on deck six now aren't we yes yes yeah, so it is on deck six like right it's at the back towards the back is this is which way is the back this way this, or that this way, way? yeah this way? that way so this one's us aurora until we google this for the moment we're saying boreale not sure that's what we're saying right so we're in the main dining room i don't know if emma see a cutting back since we last come on but we've only got a menu to share <laughs> <laughs> we had one each last time yeah but we, we might be sharing the menu but we have a massive bowl of bread that so, that's true i prefer more bread than two menus so the soup diet we've been on for the past week is going to pay dividends with this big bowl of bread so the food's here i went for the house salad it looks like it's got like loads of meat on it which you can't complain about Stacey's had uh, some spring rolls. Looks like she's got loads of sweet and sour sauce, which she'll be happy with. Um, it did take a while. Yeah, uh, we were waiting a little bit, but it's just quite busy in here just because I think um, everybody's come here. Maybe thought of the same idea as us. Oh, the buffet will be busy, so we'll go to the main dining room, but oh well. So the mains are here. I've gone for the seafood tagliatelle. Stacey's gone for a prawn merry roast sandwich and of course some chips. Uh, Funnily enough, we are not going for puddings today. No, we've not had a dessert, have we? No. We'll probably see what's in the buffet later. Or we're going to show you another place in a minute where there is food that... Oh, chips. The cold. Oh, no. We'll eat them quick then. But as I was saying, there's another place where you can get some grab-and-go food. We might pop in there after and see what there is. So we'll show you that after. Right, so we finished lunch now. It was very nice. We've just come down to the Green Orchid. If you, come down, if you want to swap your dining times or tables or anything like that, come down here on your day of embarkation between one and four o'clock we've swapped hours now we've had to have the later sitting because he said you've got no chance of getting a half past five table of two so if you can get that you are very lucky because we, we put us on a shared table exactly we, yeah. and we don't so want to share to compromise and have later but at least it's a private table yeah so we've had to we're now in the green orchid so here this is our table just here by the window but it's a half past nine one and the problem with MSC is the gap in between the tables is pff, I forgot how small it was because yeah. that's our table there and then literally that's a private table but look at the one next yeah. to it like so you are literally <laughs> literally a cards width between the tables I prefer as well I do prefer because we have been on um, last time we cruised with MSC. We'd only ever cruise with P and O, and we've since been with NCL and Princess, yes. and they do Freedom Dining. P and O does yeah. Freedom Dining as well. I do prefer that, but for the price that we're paying for this MSC, it's yeah. not like I won't cruise with them again no. because of the cost. You know, is so cheap. But I do prefer Freedom so Dining. So this is something to consider if you don't like eating around a lot of people. Go to buffet. So we've got about half an hour now till the cabin should be ready. We've just come in, um, we just come and sit in the carousel lounge right at the back of the ship. It's absolutely lovely in here. If you've been on the Virtuosa, yes, it was the carousel theatre where the paid for shows were. Yes. But it's it's absolutely beautiful. Just walking around the ship in general, it is it is a really uh, beautiful ship. And this is the other place where you can come and grab some nibbles. They've got dessert and some little like tapasy style food. Yeah, we were not going to have any because I'm quite full from lunch still. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we don't want anything. There are some machines on here where you can register your credit card. Can you use a debit card, Kev? Debit just... card and credit De card, or yeah. cash. Yeah, or cash, yeah. So I think they put a 250 euro hold on your card. Yes, because whilst we're on here, everything's in euros. Yes. Now, you did do that on the MC MSC app before we came on the yes, cruise, I already, didn't you? I already so set up the credit card, so you don't have to go to the machine. But if you did have trouble, I did have a little bit of trouble setting yeah. it up, but I'll go to work in the end. If you do, don't worry, you can just go to one of the, the machines and sort it out once on board. But yeah, you do, the information's all on the sheet they give you when you check in, but you do have to register either a card or, like you say, use a cash deposit. We've also just been to Le Grill, which is the one of the specialty restaurants in the Galleria Eurebia, and we've just um, pre-booked the one specialty restaurant that we want to do, which is the Ola Tacos place. Now we didn't want one of the packages, so we never we didn't pre-boot that before we came on board, because you can't 
book the individual restaurants before you come on board you can only do the speciality packages but we didn't want one of them so we've just been and booked that for we booked it for Wednesday um, it's open for lunch and dinner we're having it for dinner at 6 p.m. all the specialities are open for lunch and dinner yes even though we're embarking and disembarking from Southampton that's us personally they obviously the other ports that the ship goes to it does pick up and drop off drop off passengers as we go along um, and we just have asked at guest services and there because I always like to know how many passengers are on and like I said because they pick up and drop off at different ports that's going to change um, you know most days but today there's going to be 5,000 passengers on the ship now this ship does hold about 6,300 ish. Now, I think that's the thing with these big MSC ships now, and these big ships in general really, is they do hold a lot of passengers. We were lucky the first time that we did the Virtuosa. It had like 2,500 passengers on. It was on. just under that. It was like it? just under that. So both times we went on there, it was less than a half full. So I think, obviously, this ship sails for 52 weeks of the year and I think your experience is going to differ depending on how many passengers are on. You know, I could imagine it, it is quite busy if it's if there is 6,000 people on. So just bear that in mind, that's all. But we, so far, haven't seen any children. Well, so, we're not in the school all exactly, day, so there's not many kids but on. But that's a big difference, isn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah. Obviously, if you're going to come in the school holidays, you know, there's some great prices for MSC at the moment. Um, you know and no gratuities to pay so you know people are going to take the mo make the most of these cheap deals aren't they so th we're looking at about 5,000 passengers on for us right so we're they've just put the announcements out we can go to our cabin but it's weird because where our cabin is we've got no doors opposite us because <laughs> we've had an inside interior but there's no like balcony doors across from us we've got this divider so it's a bit weird we're right at the back as well yes yeah yeah not like right at the back not like backwards outward facing because we've got right. no window no, but pretty much at the yeah. back of the ship aren't we so there's a good way to walk yes well that's if we get up at the front of the ship that is but yeah it's weird having this partition wall in the middle I, I think it does say as well on this sheet that the cabins are ready at 2 but it can take up to 7pm for your luggage to get there so don't panic if it's not there especially obviously the more busier the ship is the longer it's going to take right so we're just in the cabin now we're just watching the safety video on the tv screen and kev is actually watching it as well that's good kev safety first yes safety first <laughs> uh, it says on your cruise card what your assembly station is and ours is n i think n is where we've just come from so I think we've got to watch this and then go to the assembly station because they scan your cruise card. I think that's at I half think. past four. Yeah, well, we'll unpack and yeah. then we'll go after then, see if anybody's at assembly station N. Where, yeah. where, where is that? I think it's where we've just been at the is carousel. It? Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> it does say on the back of the cabin door. Give me a minute. Yeah, the carousel lounge. Oh, and yeah. there was nobody there, Jussie. It must no. be... I think it's about half past about four. About half past four. It says on the app something at half past four, so... I We're think we just scan that to say that you've been, because obviously in yeah. the event of emergency, that's where your evacuation point would be. Yes, touch wood, that doesn't happen. Yeah, touch wood. We're just going to unpack quickly now, chuck it all in the wardrobes, and then just have a mooch about, go for some dinner and watch some of the entertainment tonight, really. That's all we can do. Because sail away isn't until 8 o'clock, and I don't think there's some big sail away party, because like Stacey said earlier, we're picking up at all the different... Uh, ports you're not going to have, keep having sail away parties every night I are you? I think it's on one night but it's yeah, but not, not every on, single not on, night. Yeah it'll be on our night, it won't be on our sail away night. No. <laughs> we'll, say, we'll be sailing away it'll from be on somewhere. one of the nights. <laughs> one hour later. Right so we're all unpacked now. It didn't take, we are only on it for a week but we. Yeah. it didn't take as long as last time because we're getting really good now when we were on the Norwegian Prima it was ridiculous how much that we took. I know it's a cold cruise and we were on for two weeks and there was no washing facilities. It was you. There isn't any washing facilities on here. You brought loads back that you didn't wear. So no, did I know, but we're getting so good at it now. Yeah. So we didn't take long to We've been pack. strict because... Yes, it's we, just a waste to bring so yeah. much that you're not going to wear. Uh, but yeah, we're all packed away. Uh, we've just watched our video, rang the number to confirm and we just ran down to our uh, assembly station to get our cards scanned. Mm -hmm. So we're all done now nothing else to do so i think we're gonna 
like I said before, we're going to watch some entertainment, I think. Um, we're just going to show you in a sec how to, because you have to book your shows in the theatre. Yeah, the main to theater. guarantee a seat. Yes, to guarantee a place. Um, and then I think we're going to go the buffet. So yeah, we'll go the buffet, I think. Right, so MSC's app does not let me screen record, so I'm going to have to show you the old fashioned way by just recording the phone. So make sure before you come on board, pretty much download the MSC For Me app, okay? This is what you will use once on board to boot the shows and look at your itinerary for the day if you don't want to carry the magazine around and stuff like that. So what you have to do is you connect to MSC's uh, Wi-Fi there and this is complimentary Wi-Fi for using the app only. You can't go on websites and watch YouTube uh, with that. You have to pay for that internet. But what you have to do to book shows, you have to go on theatre shows and then deck six. So tonight is Generation Rock, okay? So we've already booked it. But can you see where it says cancel reservation at the bottom? That did say book. So um, you just click on that, click who you want to book for and which show. Because this ship is kind of full, there's uh, three shows on a night. So you just pick your time, it tells you how many seats are left, and that's it. That's your reservations made, okay? So oh, as you can see there, it does tell you. So our show at half past seven has only got 81 seats left, compared to the later one, which has got 583. So you're probably always better off, if you want a quieter one, to uh, probably watch the later one. You might get away with not making a reservation, or if it's full, go five minutes before the show, it did say on the piece of paper, and uh, they may seat you without a reservation if somebody doesn't turn up. We are also going to watch the swing band uh, in the carousel lounge later tonight, but you don't have to book for that, that's just first come first serve, and there's a couple of shows for that one as well. So that's part of this cruise malarkey, is timing your stuff. So you have to get your times for your restaurants down and then your times for your shows. If you want to do everything, time, time, time. Get on that daily activities sheet and plan your day out. Right, so it's buffet time now and I'm not coming on an MSC cruise and not picking up a couple of slices of fresh made pizza. It's absolutely delicious. And then some uh, onion barges and some nasi garang fried rice to go with it there. So something's a bit different. I've gone for a curry, but Kev was wetting himself before because... I was creased over. We, <laughs> he took a picture of me earlier on, we were just walking about, and then when we were in the cabin before we come down, I said, oh, can I have a look at that picture that you took of me? And I looked at it and went, oh my, oh my goodness, what a state. I said, I went a bit of a mood, and I said, I'm only having salads for me tea. I said, I don't like that picture, I'm just having salad for me tea. And then I've ended up with a full plate of curry and a cheese burger. But... Oh well, but in fairness, this is our last cruise in a while now, so, you know, I'll cut down after this one. But we will be doing a full buffet uh, food video, as we always do, so uh, we haven't got to show you any of this, so you can leave me alone to enjoy my pizzas. Um. Right, okay, so I can confirm that I've eaten four slices of pizza, and they're all very nice. Have you had four? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. I had to eat one while I was in the queue for your cheeseburger. <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. Uh, so yeah, we are just going to go down to the, I was going to say the buffet, we're in the buffet. We're not going back to the buffet. We're going to the theater to watch the guitar show, rock show or something, I forgot what it's called. At least it's something we haven't seen on board an MSC ship, so we're pretty pleased with that. So we'll put some clips over now and then we'll show you what we do after that.
We're in the carousel lounge now. The band that plays in here isn't actually on till for another hour. No. So I think we're just going to sit in here a little bit, but we'll probably watch it on another night. Yes, there's a white party, I think, is it? Yeah, I think there's a white party. We might catch a little bit of that. We're not dressed, not dressed in white, but we'll catch a little bit of yeah. it. And then I think we'll end it there. But it's, yeah, it, we mentioned it earlier because we came in the carousel lounge, but it's, it's a really nice place and it's a nice little fireplace next yeah, to Yeah, it's really there. nice. And there's a pool table. I can't. I'm not that flexible go that way, but there's a pool table there. When we were sat in here earlier on, I think I heard two guys say that they were speaking to a crew member and saying that the tips were messy off that, the queue, so I'll go have a look in a sec. That must be a cruise ship thing, because when we went on the Britannia, there was mm. no tips on the I, I think he was there. Ask, I think he was asking the crew member if they had any spare ones, so I'll go and have a look after in a sec and see if it is. But the show in the main theatre was really good. Yes. It, it was a fantastic first yeah, night yeah. in the theatre. I really enjoyed that. I will say though, just bear in mind with MSC, because like we said earlier on, he does pick up and drop off at the different ports. So when they talk yep. at the beginning of the shows, it is in different languages that they announce the um, the performance in. He did, I think he did like six. I was going to say, it's really impressive because the cruise director, whoever he is, speaks like... No, the cruise, there was the cruise director and the master of ceremonies. Oh yes, because he speaks the six languages. Yes. So just bear in mind, you know, you are on a cruise that it's not just catered for us, you know, Brits or for us English speaking. So, you know, because I have heard before on MSC cruises, oh, you know, they announce things in different languages. It's only fair at the doesn't, end of the day, so yeah. it doesn't bother us. Not at all. And like I've just said, it's impressive the guy can speak six languages. Yeah. So, I mean, that's very clever. Does he get so. paid more per language? <laughs> so if he, think, if he knows so. seven, he'll get a raise. You should do. Tips are messy. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's no good, is it? Must be a cruise thing. I know, but the ship isn't even six months old, yeah? Well, you can well, get a lot of wear and tear out of a pool queue in six months. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna end it here now. What's going on? Somebody <laughs> won bingo. Or something. Someone's happy. Yeah, they won the bingo. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we just come and walk on the deck because it's a really nice pool area, and when it's all lit up at night, yeah. Uh, so we just come for a little walk. It's actually quite mild. It's not, not too bad. Actually, I'm crossing my arms, but it's actually it's not too bad. I've still is got it? shorts on. <laughs> no, it's not too bad at all, really. But yeah, it's a shame they had the fountains going before in the middle of the pool, which were lit up. Oh yeah, they aren't Looked going really on. Looks really nice. No. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice pool area. Like I say, you've got the big screen with the stars on there. It's really <laughs> nice. But yeah, we're going to leave it here now. Obviously, there's more videos to come. We're going to review, you know, the food places on the ship and just, you know, everything about the ship, really. Yeah, but pretty much. I mean, so far, you know, it's a beautiful ship and it's just, um, it's the last one of the year for us. And yeah. It, um, so yeah, we're just going to enjoy it and just be grateful that we are away again. So we're very lucky. And, uh, exactly. Yeah, we know that. But yeah, it's <laughs> starting to rain now. Yeah. So we're a bit knackered after dancing around that white party for a little bit. You ain't dancing. <laughs> they don't know that, do you? Okay, I'm knackered after me four slices of pizza. Yeah, that's, that's what you're knackered like over. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to love you and leave you there. <laughs> so, as always, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.